Hi people. So in this video, I'm going to revive a failed print rather than go through the pain of this 37 hour print again. This is a stem, quick release stem from a sim racing setup and I printed it solid so it's super strong it's a 37 hour print. The problem I had is that about 30 hours into it during the night the filament bunched up and tangled, don't you hate that, and broke and I came in the morning it was still going but there was no filament coming out. So I thought bugger that I'm not going to start from scratch again. I'm going to measure exactly how much is left on the print bed and I left the printer in its print mode so the bed was still at 60 degrees and I got my value I went into Cura and I installed the Z offset plugin which you can get through the marketplace in there and that allows you to print not on the bed but off the bed at a distance you choose so I simply put the value in there that I measured with my calipers that was the first thing next was to actually sync the model into the bed again by the amount that I measured and you basically pull it down or you can put it in in the numerical value until it sinks it down into the bed and if you didn't know this is a great way of printing only partial things in Cura because it will only print what it can see on the screen that's above the bed so anyway I put in my Z offset value I sunk the model down into the bed also I went and turned off things like skirt brim raft you don't want to do any of that you just want to get stuck into printing straight away so that's what I did enabled that I used the same settings that I'd used when I previously tried to print it and this one I end up saving on the SD card and I called it you know like failed print version 2 and I found that you can resume and, and fix failed prints as many times as you like and the strength is, has been fantastic so this is the way I've done it so I save that save that on the card The next thing you want to do is edit the g-code. Don't worry, it sounds scary but it's really easy. You just basically go and find that file on the card, open it in a notepad editor and then what you do is you go and find, I usually, um, the way I did it was I, I searched for wipe because that's the first thing that it does when it does the start of the print. It does that little skid mark across the front of the printer bed. <laughs> Um, which is usually the only good thing that your printer does before it messes up. So I go and find that. It's the easy way to find that in the notepad. And then I want to look down at these values in here and you'll see it gives an X value of 97.95 and a Y value. If I just start printing with that, what's going to happen is it's going to do the white print, the skid mark, and then it's going to move the print head across and bump into the object and knock it off the print bed. So what I want to do is actually get it to zero the print head all the way to the far bottom left with the X of zero and a Y of zero before it then moves the Z axis into its print position 67.9 and resumes the print on top of my old failed print. If you don't do this it will crash into the object knock it off the bed and then you basically have to start from scratch again. You could revive it if you'd printed a skirt initially because you know the distance the skirt is away from the object and you would be able to measure it and then use a glue stick to stick your failed print back on the print bed in exactly the same spot but you want to avoid that as much as possible so keep the print bed hot just go in here, change the Y value to zero and the X value to zero. And that will make sure that the print head stays away from your work until it's reached the correct printing height set by your Z axis. Okay, now we're at the printer. So we're gonna go and call up this file, which I've just called version two. and bingo here we go the printer bed's still hot you'll see that the printer head is moving into place of course you can also switch colors at this point if you wanted to print it in multicolor so here we go it's doing the skid mark that always works that always works doesn't it so yeah that's to be expected once it's finished, like magic, 
it goes back to the zero point it raises its Z height and then it will move across and you see here it's already extruding the plastic so as you just pull that off before it gets to the, the actual object and now it moves into place and continues to print on my old failed print so that's been sitting there failed now for sort of 20 hours and I managed to go and resume it rather than having to start all over again so that's how you resume a failed print you can see there's a line at the bottom where I actually resumed it the previous day as well so that will just sand off and come out perfectly fine